Hi, third grade. Okay, the video that I'm making today will actually take you up to page 272. So that's four pages front and back in your workbook. It, we start out with simple subjects. Now, subjects are the who or what in the sentence. So if the sentence said, um, our teacher wrote on the board, Now, you guys remember that every sentence has a subject part and a predicate part. I remember we went through that um, quite a bit. So the who or what is the subject part. So our teacher would be the subject part. And the subject part is always a noun. Now, the, so the next part, wrote, this whole part right here is the predicate part. And you guys remember that. The predicate part starts at the verb and goes all the way to the end of the sentence. I've got my period. Now, when you get to, instead of having both of these words be, the, both of these words are the subject part, but if I just wanted to do the main who or what word, we call that, I'm going to use a different color, we call that the simple subject. So the simple subject would just be teacher. And then what the simple subject is doing, what did the teacher do? She wrote. So your simple predicate is wrote. Now, this little thing here, this line with the, li with the um, dividing line in the middle, that is our diagram. And on our diagram, we write the simple subject in this part and the simple predicate in this part. So teacher would go right here. And then what did that teacher do? The teacher wrote. And then you have just diagrammed that sentence by putting the simple subject in the front part, dividing it between the subject and the predicate, and putting the simple predicate right there. So this is who or what the sentence is about, and this is what that who or what did. Now that takes us all the way up to page 271, and on page 271, it talks about fragments. Now, we just went over that every subject has a, or every sentence has a subject part and a predicate part. So, and then we can even bring it down farther to a simple subject and a simple predicate, and we can diagram it like that. Now, if you have a sentence that has only a subject and no predicate, then it's a fragment. And if it has only a predicate and no subject, then it's a fragment. Um, you need a fragment or you need a predicate and a subject in every sentence. Um, if someone wrote a sentence that said, rode a bike down the street, that is missing who rode down the street. So that is a fragment. It doesn't have a subject in it. If 
you have a sentence that someone wrote that says a dog named Spike, but it doesn't tell what Spike did, then that is a fragment. So if I were to diagram those two sentences, Um, rode, down, rode a bike down the street, so I would put rode right here where the verb goes in the predicate, but I don't know who rode. So if I don't have a who rode, then that is a fragment. So I'll put a big F right in the front of it. If someone wrote the sentence, a dog named Spike, so who or what it's about is the dog, but I don't know what the dog did, then that is a fragment. And I would write a big F because that's a fragment. So this one would be a sentence because it has its subject. It has its predicate. This one is a fragment. It has no subject. This one is a predicate. It has no fragment. Um, please remember to write in your journals every day and be ready to turn all this stuff in on May 4th. And I think next week I will be making you guys another video and I'll let you know when that is. Thank you.